Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're gonna to continue the series on the non-calculator portion of the GED test, and we're gonna look at rules of exponents. Okay, so there's a few different rules I wanna cover. The first one looks like this up top. What it basically says is if you have a number that's your base, in this example, two is the base, that's raised to an exponent, and then that quantity itself is raised to another exponent, all you have to do is keep the base the same and then multiply the exponents together. So let's look at one example. It says calculate four to the third to the second, or four cubed squared. So the rule says what we do is we keep the base, which is four, and we multiply the exponents together. So that would be four to the three times two, which is four to the sixth. And that's our answer, it's as simple as that. The reason why this is so simple is because, let's kind of break it down a little bit. You have four to the third, which is four times four times four, and you have that quantity squared. Well, if you square something, you multiply it by itself. So this times itself is just basically four times four times four. And if you count this out, you have four times itself six times, so four to the sixth. And there's your answer. Let's look at a couple other examples. There's another rule that says if you have a base number multiplied or raised to a power of an exponent and you multiply that same base to a different power, all you have to do is add the exponents together and keep the base. So let's look at this example. We have three squared times three to the fourth. So the base is the same, it's three, and we can just basically add the exponents together. So three to the two plus four which in this case is three to the sixth. And that's our answer. So if you wanna look at it, break it down even further, we have three squared, which is three times three, and we have that times three to the fourth, which is three times three times three times three. And again, we have six different threes being multiplied together, which is three to the sixth. Okay, let's look at another rule. This time we're looking at division. We have a base raised to a power divided by the same base raised to another power. And the rule for this is instead of adding the exponents, you're gonna subtract the exponents. So let's look at this example. We have two to the seventh divided by two to the fourth. The rule says all we have to do is subtract the exponents. So seven minus four is three. And there's our answer. So let's look at why this rule takes effect. We have two to the seventh, which is a whole bunch of twos. There's seven of them, uh, looks like seven, and then divided by two to the fourth, okay? Whenever you have a number divided by itself, it basically cancels out, it equals one, so you can kind of cancel out. So basically what's happening is this, 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 and this are canceling out, and you're left with two to the third power on the top and nothing on the bottom really. So you have two to the third, okay? Let's look at one or two other rules. There's a rule that says if there's a number raised to the zero power, it's automatically one. Any number, any base, two to the zero, three to the zero, a hundred to the zero, the value is one. So let's look at this example. We have five to the negative three times five to the positive three. Well, in the, another previous rule we looked at, all we have to do for this is add the exponents together. And any negative number plus the positive value of that number is zero. So negative three plus three is zero, and any number to the zero is one. It's as simple as that. So I hope this helps when you get to the non-calculator portion of the GED and you look at rules of exponents. Remember, it's most likely simpler than you think. Don't overthink it. Follow the rules and you'll be able to find your answer real quick. Thanks. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.